I'm Randy, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a thermostat. Now, why would you need to replace a thermostat? If your car is overheating or if it doesn't heat up, it's signs that you've got a faulty one. Now, before you do any work on your car, you need to make sure that it's had time to cool down. Because when your car is warm, your cooling system is under pressure, and it's dangerous to do any work on it. First, you need to find your radiator cap. It can be located on the radiator, on the thermostat housing, or on the expansion tank. In this case, it's located on the thermostat housing. Now the next step is to drain the coolant. And you need to make sure that you've got something that you can use to catch the coolant as it comes out of the bottom of the radiator. Now this is the coolant drain plug. All you have to do is turn it until coolant starts coming out the bottom of the radiator. And the next step is to replace the thermostat. In order to find the thermostat, you should follow the lower radiator hose all the way up until it goes into the engine. And there's a thermostat housing. In this case, it's held on by two bolts. Now we're going to need a wrench and a ratchet to do this. You just have to loosen these two bolts. <clears throat> and then the thermostat housing comes right off. Now you just pull off the thermostat housing and then pry out the thermostat. Out with the old, in with the new. The next step is to install the new thermostat. This goes in exactly the same way the old one came out. Now we need to put the old bolts back in. And now the last step is to fill the system up with coolant again. Now all that's left is to replace the radiator cap. So the next time you need to replace your thermostat, why not try fixing it yourself? <laughs>